and I'm going. Hi everybody, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, one of the things that I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to re-thread my Brother Lock 1034DX. And as you can see, uh, Mello is trained, but he's a little bit upset right now, so he's doing some barking. So I'm going to shut this door so that we can try to get a um, little less noise in here. And I think now it's nice and quiet. Okay, so I am. what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to re-thread this machine. I'm going to remove the white thread and I'm going to put black thread on here. Okay, so this is not hard at all. Just um, all you have to do is follow the color of these threads and you'll, you'll be able to um, thread the machine perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut each of these threads out and I'm going to take out the white threads completely. Okay, so that way we are starting anew. And we have no thread in there. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my numbers up here all to zero. Okay. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to gently open this up. And I'm going to just pull out my threads from the machine. get them out I don't think it's coming out that easy oh let me lift this up that would have helped if I lift that up <laughs> and let me cut from here and I can just get them all I know I could have turned on the machine and just um, had all the thread just coming out but I didn't do it the easy way okay so just you know there's a better way to do this I'm sure but hey, it's all gone. Okay, so now I have it and I'm ready to re-thread, okay? Now the way that this serger um, gets threaded, and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna shut it off also, okay? Make sure that you shut this off because you know, remember there is a knife in there and you don't want to accidentally cut, cut you because that's gonna be pretty ugly. So what I usually do is um, make sure it's off I put all my, my dials at zero. And then what I do too is I come here, make sure that when you're turning this knob, that you are turning it towards you. And then what I do is I make sure that this line lines up with the line that you have on the side of your machine, okay? Make sure that it lines up correctly like that, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and you open it by sliding it, okay? And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number nine and I'm going to just flip it. And if you notice, that opened up, okay? Now, your machine came with a pair of tweezers. Oh, um, I think that's how you say it, tweezers. And this is very, very helpful to help you thread the machine. But let's, um, let me show you how we thread it. Um, the way you thread it is you go all the way from the right and you go to the, the left. These are the two that get threaded through the hooks and it goes into the holes that are right over here, if you see right here, okay? The last two are the ones that get threaded into your needles, all right? So we start all the way to the right and you go all the way to the left. So what I'm going to do though is I'm going to take my black thread and I'm going to put it in the machine and I'm gonna put all four in there. Okay, now the first three steps are the same for each of these, okay? And this is how you thread it. You take your thread, you're gonna put it in hold, the hole, the first hole, and then when you have that, what you're gonna do is gonna push it back. Then you're going to loop the thread into the number two slot and you're gonna pull it towards you. Do this, do this with every one of the threads, okay? As you see, I'm going through the hole, push it back, go into that little hook, and let it hang, okay? Same thing here. Push it back through the hook. There you go. And take the last one. And these are, these are steps one and two. There you go. Now you see, this is number three, these little holes, okay? Each of them have their own. So I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to put it in this hole right here, okay? 
And then I'll just let it hang here. I'm gonna take this one, put it in this hole as well. Cause like I said, step one, two, and three for each of these threads are the same. Okay, they just have their own individual paths, okay? All right, now this is where things start to change a little bit, okay? All right, now what you're going to do here is you're going to see this number four, each of them have their own color. This is the first one that you're gonna thread and it's the color blue. So take this and you map the, the blue around. So I'm going to take this thread and I'm going to look at this hook right here, number five. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna put this in number five. And then look at how it goes. This is very important. And I'm going to have my girlfriend um, focus on here because I want to show you something that's really important. No, the blue goes underneath both of these. This is the picture of this. Okay. If you look on top of here, you see a blue and a blue dot. And then in the, the top one, you see a blue and a green. Okay. The green is the second thread that you're going to do. So this thread is going to go through this hook and then it's going to go around and it's going to go under here and here, both of these. So I'm going to take this and it's going underneath both, okay? Once it's underneath both, this is the eighth hook. So I'm going right here, okay? Then from here, what I'm going to do is it's going to go in here. Um, no, it's not. Eight. Here goes nine. Okay. Nine was when I flipped it. And what that does is it opens up this. Okay. And I don't know if my hands are in the way. But see, look. Okay. This is nine. And then this is, this is 10. Step 10. Okay. And then 11 is to throw it back. Okay. This is the blue. So here's eight. Nine is hit this switch, okay, which I had already hit, and that's why this opened up. This is 10, that's this right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right behind. You gotta be careful too, because you know there's a knife in there. You know, I have I have the machine off, but you put it right behind here there you go see how I got it it went right behind here okay that's this right here that's number 10 now I have to put it in this hole right here that's this one this hole is this hole so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in this hole right here all right so That's 11. I mean, uh, record. Are we recording? Oh, oh, we're recording. Sorry, guys. All right. So <laughs> I thought we thought the camera kind of like flipped out on us. All right. So as you can see, um, let me pull this out here. Okay. I am the last step that we were on was right here and see. Okay. So I want you guys to see and 11 is then you just pull this back. Okay. You just take this, you kind of pull a lot of it. And then what you do is just pull this thread back this it, I mean this is not hard to do it's just that once you get to know all the steps then it becomes very easy so just I just want you guys to see I'm gonna have my, my girlfriend just um follow my my thing see it goes in here it goes in this hook um this is wrong right away I see this is wrong this goes under both okay see how I had it on in one this goes under both Okay, let me pull this a little bit. There you go. So it goes under both, then it goes in. There you go. See, pull it behind here. You go in this hook, and then you got to hook it around here, and then it goes into this hole, and then just pull it out. All right, so that's the first thread. All right, now here we are. We're on the second one right here. Okay. Now, this is the green, so we're gonna follow the green line, okay? 
here goes, it goes in this hook right here. Now, if you look on here, it, it doesn't go under both of these. It goes right in the middle of both of these, okay? Because it just goes under one. So I am going to take this and I'm putting it right there. Then, okay, see how I um pulled it up? This goes into here. See, this was six, this is seven, and eight is the needle. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to thread this right in here. So, threading it right in that hole. Hopefully it goes in, yeah, yeah, wow. Coming in pretty easy. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna pull out some, and then of course you're gonna push this all the way back. Okay, there you go. So, oh. and that's the other thing too. When you pull it back, take a look at how it is so that you can make sure that it's aligned correctly, okay? So as you can see, the green went into this hook. It's between these two. It went up to number seven, and this is number eight, and then you push it back, okay? Now it gets a lot easier. This is the third one. This one, very easy. You don't even go in here. What you do is you just pull back, go on the side, okay? And then you're gonna go in here. Now, pay attention to this little slit that you have here, okay? The pink goes to the right of this slit, this way, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it right here, okay? and you're gonna put it in this needle, the needle all the way to the right. So I'm going to now thread the needle, and to thread the needle, I'm going to cut this a little bit to make it a nice, um, so you just thread the needle. And sometimes this could take a little while. And no, I got it for a shot, not bad. Not bad for an old lady that wears glasses, not bad. Okay, and I'm going to pull this. Let me make sure that it's um, going correctly. Because it looked like it got caught on something, and it did. It got caught. See, that's the thing, too. You got to uh, make sure. Oh, do I have to rethread it? I sure do. Okay. It got caught on something in here. So that's why it's important that you pull your thread all the way to the back to make sure that you actually got it going the right way. There you go, perfect. And I'm going to push this one back too. Um, there we go, all right, so now we got three. Woo, almost there, all right, this is the last one. Now you take this, same thing, almost the same like you did number four, except that it doesn't go under this slit. It goes under here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it to the left. And then you're going to put it right under, right behind here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put it in this, um, the needle to the left-hand side. And I have it. I believe I do. Let me just get my little tweezers, pull it. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to take this. I got them all out there. Now let's give this a shot and let's see if it works, okay? So I'm gonna close this up, okay? And I'm going to move my dials to a four. And let me get a piece of scrap fabric. And turn it on. Let me get some uh, scrap fabric here. Um, here we go. And let's see if this works. Okay, I'm just gonna, let me just do it from, oops, drop that. Okay, that's, that's fine. Just do it this way. All right, lift up your foot, this in. 
Okay, your capture. And let's give it a shot. You just pull it out. Yep. Perfect. See, got my chain. So there you guys have it. There you go. Perfect. And now I have my thread, my black thread in there. So it's not, it's not hard, guys. All you have to do is just follow this. Just take your time. And my trick is make sure that you pull the thread all the way in the back so that you can make sure that it didn't get caught in anything. But as you can see, perfect. Very easy to do. So hope you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And happy sewing and embroidery. Bye.